that work leading to the game winner? Yeah, I mean, he, he was, um, Loon was fantastic. Um, you know, they've got, they've got some, some big guys in the paint who can go up and, you know, get lobs. And, and uh, they, they kind of took over that third quarter with Okonwu and Collins and, you know, Trey Young coming downhill. So we were kind of going back and forth between, um, you know, Loon and Anthony Lamb. You know, de- deciding do we want more spacing or more size, and both of them had great games. So it was really uh, fun to watch them both perform at that level, and then to to see Loon get rewarded with the game winner was fantastic. Did the offense, I guess, middle of the fourth quarter on, sort of boil down to Clay go get something? And how fun is it after what he's been through? If that's what it was that you could say that yeah I mean I I think you know we had four guys play uh 44 minutes or more um and so it it just felt to me like in the in the two overtimes but even down the stretch uh fatigue was a was a factor and we weren't generating many easy shots and uh and Clay just took over so you know we we um we're going to him just with uh, you know a high screen, getting him the ball, letting him go on a high screen, and running off him off some some pins, and and um, he just made shot after shot, made play after play. He was incredible. You guys spent a lot of the early season like losing some some backbreakers late. I mean, the Utah one particularly comes to mind. Lately, that trend has flipped. How important is that? Yeah, I mean, that was kind of what we talked about early in the season was that we, we're going to get some games back, you know. And um, Mike Dunleavy turned to me after the game and said, "said we that's payback for the Utah game, you know, in Salt Lake. Like, you, you usually lose a game or two like that and win a game or two like that during the course of the season. And uh, tonight was our night to... To pull one out, but I think it's a. There's a reason that things are going our way right now. We're we're playing tougher. We're hanging in there. Um, in general, we're doing a better job not fouling. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. We had two reaches on Trey Young uh, down the stretch. I think it was the end of the first overtime. Um, <clears throat> can't remember exactly the time frame, but um, allowed the game to keep going. I think if we don't reach there, we probably um, wrap up the game or make him. Uh, make a tough shot. Um, so the fouling kind of um, got to us in the second half. But for the most part, uh, during this winning streak, we're playing smarter, we're playing tougher, we're sticking together. Steve, um, go ahead, Jenny. Oh, uh, Looney's rebounds at the end shine, but but how about what Dante does on the boards? And uh, you don't get into that situation without that when he corralled right at the end of regulation to make that big shot. I mean, is he just. Uh, Everything. You know, Dante has really um, shined during this stretch. You know, with um, with so many injuries, uh, we've counted on him for big minutes, and uh, he just continues to show why he's a winning player. You know, he's. Um, I, I said it the other night, but you know, guys, the guy won two NCAA championships and an NBA title, and. You know, he competes every second of every game. He makes winning plays. And, um, you know, his his rebound down the stretch and then the three um, that he made to tie it, um, you know, that was um, just just Dante, you know, doing what he does. On that Clay step back uh, in the first overtime, was that strictly Clay ISO? Did he create an ISO? Uh, you almost never seem to dribble that many times to get a shot. What was the call there or was that just Clay improvising? Uh, I think we were going for the last shot, right? Is that the, the everything's blending uh, together right now. 20 something seconds. He hit the shot with about 17 to go up to. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we were um, we were going to get uh, Clay in a pick and roll and um, you know, they did a good job switching. And um, at that point, it just felt like everybody was was pretty tired, and um, so everyone just kind of flattened out. And uh, and Clay, you know, ended up um, taking the shot. He got a decent look, but um, I think you know, at that point, when when guys are just exhausted, you're just you're just trying to outlast your opponent. And uh, we didn't execute great down the stretch, but we hung in there, and that was the main thing. 
The, is, is there something about his shot? I, I know it always looks good, but it's going in now that you see. Is it just his feet are under him a little bit more? I think it's more his emotion is under control. I think um, when he was struggling early, earlier in the season, I thought he was placing way too much importance on each shot, and he was searching for that shot constantly. I think he's been much more patient um, of late. And um, when he's patient, he's you'll know because he's hitting the roll man. He hit Loon and Draymond several times tonight. Um, then the ball comes back around to him. Um, he just looks more relaxed, more at ease than he did uh, earlier in the year. Is there also a physical component to that, to him coming back, him getting more to be the old Clay? And also, you, you said at one point, I forget when it was, I'm going to ride with Clay. You know, hey, is this the guy that you were talking about, basically? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's done so much in his career, so you don't go away from him just because he has a bad stretch. Everybody has bad stretches. Um, so I just think, um, you know, he stayed with it. He's worked hard, um, you know, on his. Um, conditioning and, and his strength and um, and he stayed with it like I said uh, from an emotional level he he's just stayed much more uh, calm and patient and that's paying off for him you guys had a I think a 17 point lead at the start of the third you tied heading into the fourth quarter just kind of what happened there to then make this game much closer yeah I, well I didn't like the way we closed the second quarter um, you know the ball stopped moving uh, we got a little stagnant um, and then we came out um, third quarter f first possession was a, a turnover and they got downhill and got a couple lob dunks and you could feel the game shifting I think you know, this was their first game of the trip. I think they were, um, they had some cobwebs they had to shake out in the first half. You know, they looked heavy legged to me, and then they found it in that third quarter. And they're, they're an explosive team. Uh, so they, they got themselves going, and, um, and we fell into a little bit of a rut. But that's how a lot of these games go, especially when they're really evenly matched. Um, you know, and we're, we're missing some key guys, and so there's going to be ups and downs that we're going to have to play through, and that's, that's what I'm most proud of with the group right now You know, during this five-game um, winning streak is just every single game has had these moments where we've had to, to stick it out, and, uh, and our guys have done that. 45 minutes for Draymond tonight, 46 for Clay. Uh, I think a couple other guys over 40, um, and they're your healthy guys right now. Like, where, Where's your... I guess concern level about like you know that type of load wearing on some yeah. of your heads. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason I gave the guys the weekend off. Um, no practice the last two days. Tomorrow will be uh, uh, a get what you need day. So I, I, all the guys who played 40 plus minutes uh, will be off their feet. Um, you know, the, the performance staff will will let me know if they're worried about anybody. Um, but we just got to get through this stretch and. Um, you know, get some get some bodies back soon and take some of the pressure off of these guys. Jordan's shot wasn't going down, but given the circumstance, do you almost admire a guy keep taking shots, 31 shots, because it's just the way the game has to go? Yeah, I mean, I, I keep saying this, but what I love about uh, Jordan is um, that he's got uh, another level to reach, and these games are so great for him to, to feel what it's like to be Steph. You know, uh, what it's like to be, to have the best defender on you, to have the pressure on you, to have to, uh, to function, you know, down the stretch where, you know, the, the, uh, the game is going to be more physical um, and you got to play through all that stuff. So these are all great learning experiences for them. You know, w we don't win any of these five games without Jordan. Um, we just don't. We desperately need uh, what he's uh, bringing to us. And, the great thing is he needs this this experience to go through so he can feel what it's like um, to be the main guy with Steph out and have uh, have to elevate his game. Um, you know, I, not so much from, um, you know, a scoring standpoint, but just from, um, you know, an improvement standpoint, an understanding, uh, an awareness of what, what needs to happen, playing through stuff, um, you know, getting us into our offense. And, and those are all things he's going to improve upon. And like I said, that's exciting to me because he's already a hell of a player and he's, he's going to get better. Hey, Coach, can you take me through that last time out? You're up to, 
uh, the Hawks come in, they might go for a three, they might go for a two. You've got defenders on the floor. Do you discuss, all right, do we not want to give up the three? Or uh, And then do you talk about what happens if they do score and what you're going to do coming down the other way in this circumstance? Yeah, so we took Jordan out. You know, we had we had the uh, <clears throat> the two point lead. We put um, our defensive lineup in there. Um, <clears throat> we had a foul to use, um, I believe, um, at that time, and and so part of the message was, um, you know, if the clock gets down, and you know, it's it, if you can. You know, kind of get a, a, a foul in to make them take the ball out of bounds. That's a possibility. Um, and, you know, no threes and no fouls on the shot. These are all the things that we're, you know, trying to tell them. And then, you know, what's our strategy? Are we going to switch? Are we, you know, before the, before the ball is entered, uh, after both? You know, these are all the things that are being discussed and decided on. And, uh, and the final thing is we have no timeouts left. So uh, if they score, we got to push it. And so it's exactly what happened. Draymond did a great job pushing the ball ahead, and um, Clay got a good look. And then Loon and, and Lamb were down there fighting, um, and Loon, Loon was able to convert. So, you know, kind of a, a wild sequence, but the guys did a great job of, of executing. Thank you. Thank you. you guys in here.